This is the first Photoshop tutorial for noobs. So we're in Photoshop now. Let's go ahead and create a new file. Let's make it 10, 24, by 7, 68. And we're going to make sure that this little box says pixels. This little resolution box should say 72. The color mode should be RGB. It should be 8 bit right here. So it should look just like this. And you can pause right now and make sure that you have these settings. And then go ahead and click OK. So now we see we have a file. Now if we hit Excel, let's go View and we'll say actual pixels so it shows us exactly the size that we want. Now we see the layers right here. Let's go ahead and create a new layer. Go ahead and go down to the bottom and click this and you'll see a layer appear up top here. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and make a square using the select tool and fill it with a color. So press shift as you drag and you'll have a square. And you can move it around by if you have the select tool selected you can move it move the selection around just by dragging around like this inside. So we'll position it right in the middle. Now let's go to our foreground color and we'll change it to my favorite color green. There it is on the foreground. So let's go ahead and use the paint bucket tool right here and you can get to it by holding down like this and then you choose the paint bucket one that you want. Come over here, make sure you're in the right layer and fill it. Now you can press Control D and it will deselect Let's move it around just to see that we can do it. Click the Move tool up here and move it like this. Cool, we can move things. That's how we can roll. Now, now that we have our green square, let's do the last step of this tutorial, which is make some text over top of it. Okay, we want our text to be white because it's going to be on top of green. So let's go ahead and make white our foreground color. And the way I'm going to do that is hit this little arrow here to reverse these. Or we could just click this and make it white if we want. But now that we have this, let's go to our text tool, click on it, choose a font size, maybe 24, eh, let's go 30, and choose a font, whichever font you like the best. Let's choose one that's really simple. Eh, let's go with let's go with one called Arial. So we'll scroll up. There's Arial right here. Now I'll, now I have my text tool selected. Let's click on this square right here, and you can see on the far right in the layers that a new layer appeared and that's where the text is going to be. So now we can write anything we want and it'll appear. Okay. Now when you're done you can press control enter and you'll have the ability again to move things around if you click the move tool. So you can move the text You can also resize the text by pressing Control T. A little, a little thing will appear around the um, the text, and you can drag it. Hold down Shift if you want to make it um, size correctly. Once you get it the size you want, press Enter or Return, and you have larger text. That's the end of this tutorial.